hello, I'm Maria F. Stathiou. I'm the co-curator of uh, the exhibition Eurovision. Um, I was responsible for curating the local participations of, from the, the Cypriot artists, uh, which are Kyriakos Theokharos and Murtane Karagil. Uh, we uh, thought it was imperative that we showed work from uh, two artists in Cyprus, one uh, a Turkish Cypriot artist and a Greek Cypriot artist of the two main communities of the island, so as to highlight who Cypriots are. The Nicosia edition of the Eurovision uh, exhibition is the fourth stop of the uh, touring exhibition. Um, and it actually uh, showcases most of the works of the conceptualized uh, exhibition. We've got 17 uh, artists, two of them are Cypriots, and then the rest are from the core of the exhibition and the two previous stops. Collaboration started with a contact from uh, our valuable partners at, at the Getty Institute in, in Nicosia. The initial thoughts about this uh, specific exhibition were exciting actually because it's about a co-curated project. It's a co-creation and it's, um, it's one of the fairly new concepts in art and in contemporary art. So co-curating and co-creating is very interesting to work on. As far as the idea of the exhibition and the concept uh, uh, that Sanya and Sabina have worked on meticulously, it has to do with the peripheries of Europe, the realities of people living in these peripheries and the identities of European people on the peripheries of Europe. And that, that is a very important part of the European Union to look at because it's what en uh, encloses uh, the core of Europe and uh, so Sabina and Sanya took the peripheries and then they're looking at uh, economic, geopolitical issues and issues that make each and every one of us up. Uh, in this co-creative process, there have been um, mobility of artists and curators, uh, such as Iulita Tomazi, who went to Slavs and Tatars to their studio to work on. Uh, for the activation of the Pico Bar project here. And then we've got Devagoras Vanezis, who is uh, the local uh, editor uh, for the magazine that will come out uh, after the end of this uh, ex exhibition. So contemporary art is always relevant wherever you put it, especially if it talks about current affairs and political issues. Um, so for the specific uh, composition of artists, if we talk about uh, Adnan Softic, he works, Adnan works on uh, all various locations um, producing new works. So he's going to work in Cyprus to produce a new part uh, of uh, his work that is going to be added to the collection to travel with the exhibition. And also Johanna Deal has pictures that um, are from Cyprus that she took earlier uh, some years back and uh, then if we see all the, the issues that the artists are dealing with in their works, it's uh, universal issues that have to do with identity and with war and uh, folkloric uh, narratives etc. that you find in all different cultures. So it's very relevant to Cyprus I would say. It's uh, an international exhibition with a lot of international artists who would have not been shown in Cyprus otherwise or at some point soon. So I think it's very important for the audience in Cyprus to, to look at this exhibition and to take in uh, the international aspect of it. And also there's a lot of videos that the audience should actually sit down and uh, watch them from beginning to end because it's durational. Uh, form of art and uh, it, it, it's important to look at it from beginning to end.